first contender tonight is Ikena Ogugwa. He's a personal assistant from East Dumbartonshire and he's answering questions on the Champions League. Ian Jack is a university lecturer from the Wirral. His specialist subject, the Alexandria Quartet by Lawrence Durrell. Next, Cathy Elder, a community development advisor from Cardiff on Hatshepsut, the female pharaoh. And Julian Aldridge, a geologist from Lancashire on the American television series House of Cards. Welcome to Mastermind with me, John Humphreys. Four contenders, each determined to do the best they can to get through to the semi-finals. And the pressure is real. Just two minutes to rattle through their specialist subject, two and a half minutes on the subject they haven't been able to swat up on general knowledge. One of them may eventually walk away with the famous glass bowl and the Mastermind title. So let us ask our first contender to join us, please. And your name is? Ikenna Ugugwo. And your occupation? Personal assistant. And your chosen subject? UEFA Champions League from 1992 to date. In two minutes, starting now, in what city did Real Madrid with 4-1 against Juventus to become the club champions of Europe for a record 12th time in June 2017? Cardiff. Yes, who became the first player to score four goals in a Champions League semi-final when Borussia Dortmund beat Real Madrid in the first leg of the 2013 semi-final? Robert Lewandowski. Yeah, by what score were Liverpool losing to AC Milan at half-time in the 2005 final? They came back to win on penalties. 3-0. Yep. Which team knocked out Manchester United at the quarter-final stage in 1998 and Manchester City in the round of 16 in 2017? Pass. Which was the only team that Blackburn Rovers beat when they played in the Champions League in the 95-96 season? Rosenberg. Yep. Who became the first person to be sent off in a Champions League final when he fouled Barcelona's Samuel Eto'o in the 2006 final? Jens Lehmann. Yeah. Bate Borisov, who first qualified for the group stages of the Champions League in 2008, are the only side from which country to have achieved that feat? Belarus. Yep. Which Spanish team reached the Champions League final in both 2000 and 2001? Valencia. Yep. Who scored in the 95th minute when Barcelona came back from a 4-0 first leg defeat to beat Paris Saint-Germain 6-5 on aggregate in March 2017? Pass. Which Scottish midfielder became the first British player to win the Champions League with a foreign club when he played for Borussia Dortmund in 1997? Paul Lambert. Yep. Which Cypriot team reached the quarter-finals of the Champions League in 2012? Apoel Nicosia. Yes. Who was the coach of the Ajax side that beat AC Milan in the 1995 final but lost to Juventus the following year? Louis van Gaal. Yep. Who beat Xavi's record of 151 appearances in the Champions League proper when he played in goal for Porto in a group match against Chelsea in September 2015? Pass. Who scored a hat-trick for Spurs when his side lost 4-3 away to Internazionale in a group stage match in October 2010? Gareth Bale. Is correct. You got uh, three passes to Kenner. The uh, team that knocked out Manchester United and Manchester City were AS Monaco. The chap who scored in the 95th minute when Barcelona came back from that 4-0 first leg defeat was Sergio Roberto. And... It was Casillas who beat Xavi's record of 151 appearances. You have scored 11 points. <laughs> and our next contender, please. And your name is? Ian Jack. Your occupation? Universal lecturer. And your chosen subject? The Alexandria Quartet by Lawrence Durrell. In two minutes, starting now. In the first novel of the series set in Egypt by Lawrence Durrell, Dali gives a lecture at the Atelier des Beaux-Arts in Alexandria on a poet who came from the city. Which poet? Kavathi. Yes, what is the name of the artist who loses her right hand after Balthazar accidentally fires a harpoon during a boating trip? Clear. Yep. In Justine, on which lake is Cappadistria supposedly killed during an accident at a duck shoot? It's later revealed that he is alive and had faked his own death. Mariotis. Yes. What is the name of Dali's lover who tells purse warden Nassim Hosnani is the leader of an organisation that smuggles guns into Palestine? 
Justine. Melissa, in Justine, Nessim gets a dispensation from the Patriarch of Alexandria to build a small chapel dedicated to which saint at his summer palace? Saint Arsenius. Yes. What is the name of Nessim's secretary who turns out to be an informer for the British Intelligence Service? Salim. Yep. In Balthazar, the policeman and British spy Josh Scobie is killed while dressed as a woman at the Alexandria docks by sailors from which Royal Navy ship? H.S. Milton. Yep. What disease is said to have melted down what remained of Leila Hosnani's once celebrated beauty? Conference spawn tox. Yes. In Mount Olive, Perse Warden claims he contributed articles to the Times under what pseudonym? Uh... Exactly as your pri pri cox. Paralysis agitans. In Justine, what is the main occupation of the dwarf Nemjan, whom Dali describes as the memory man, the archive of the city and the city's oracle? Barber. Yeah. What is the title of the novel by Jacob Arnotti that Purse Warden describes as a swashing study in the grand manner and nymphomania and psychic impotence? Murr. Yes. What is the name of Scobie's green Amazonian parrot that nearly caused a riot when it recited from the Quran in public? Wrong. Yep. In clear, what job does Nessim Hosnani do by special permission during the Second World War at the Alexandria docks? Ambulance driver. Yep. In Justine, the Cabal hold their secret monthly meeting in a building near which Roman landmark in Alexandria? Pompey's pillar. Yep. In clear, Josh Scobie has been listed as a saint in the Coptic church after his death. The locals refer to him affectionately as El Scob, but what is his official saint's name? El Yacoub. Yes, it is indeed. And no passes, you've scored in 13 points. Thank you. <laughs> and our next contender, please. And your name is? Cathy Elder. Your occupation? Community Development Advisor. And your chosen subject? The Life and Times of Hatshepsut. In two minutes, starting now. Hatshepsut was a ruler of Egypt in the 15th century BC. She was the eldest daughter of which pharaoh? Tutmosis I. Yes, in which year of Hatshepsut's reign was the first confirmation that she had assumed the title King of All Egypt? Regnal year seven. Yes. What name that means the soul of Re is truth did she take as her throne name? Ma'at Kare. Yes. Had Septuagint began a major rebuilding program to repair the damage that had supposedly been done by which invading Asiatic people? The Hyksos. Yes. For which lioness headed goddess did she have a shrine created in the desert near Beni Hassan? Pakhet. Yes. What particular symbol of the male pharaoh's regalia did Hatshepsut adopt in many of the depictions of her during her reign, as well as the kilt and headdress? False beard. Yep. Among the military expeditions of Hatshepsut's reign was a campaign to crush a revolt in an area of southern Egypt that contains the kingdom of Kush. Which region? Nubia. Yep. Hatshepsut was particularly fond of a former wet nurse who had looked after her in the palace harem, and she commissioned a statue of herself as queen sitting on the nurse's knee. What was the nurse's name? Citre. Yes. What is the name of the place high in the cliffs, approximately a mile west of Deir el Bahri, that she chose for her tomb? Um, KV20. Wadiseka Taka Exeda, or something. Of which <laughs> dynasty did Hatshepsut become the fifth ruler during the period known as the New Kingdom? 18th dynasty. Yes. What is the name of the quartzite bark shrine built during the reign of Hatshepsut in the central court of the Temple of Amun at Karnak? Chapelle Rouge. Yes. What's the name of the stylized cobra used as a symbol of divine authority in ancient Egypt that was removed from much of her statuary after her death? Wajet. Urias. To which African coastal region did she send an expedition under the leadership of her chancellor, Neshi? It returned with living incense trees, among many other goods. Punt. Yes. What is the name of her sister, who died in infancy? She's also known as Neferubati. Netisheri. Akbat Nefueru. What was the name of her principal advisor who created a tomb for herself within the royal mortuary complex, Deir el Bahri? He was also tutor to the royal daughter, Neferure. Senenmut. He is correct. Phew. <laughs> 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 Thanks for giving me all those pronunciations. <laughs> um, no, no passes. You've scored 12 points. Thank you. And our final contender, please. And your name is? Julian Aldridge. Your occupation? A geologist. And your chosen subject? Uh, the US TV series House of Cards.
House of Cards in two minutes. In the American television series House of Cards, what is the name of the major employment initiative that President Underwood launches at the beginning of his administration? Amworks. Yeah. When Frank Underwood is unable to overhear a phone call made by the Republican presidential nominee, Will Conway, he says that he wishes he was a former president who had every nook and cranny bugged. Which president? Nixon. Yes. What gift does Frank leave in the Oval Office for President Walker, accompanied by a card that reads, this one doesn't have a loud mouth like me? A punching bag. Yes. What's the name of the hurricane that threatens to strike the East Coast? Frank has to ask Congress to divert billions of dollars from Amworks to cope with the potential disaster. Faith. Yep. In Series 1, Frank Underwood's wife, Claire, is forced to move her fundraising gala from inside to outside a hotel in Washington because of a union dispute. Which hotel? Coatsworth. Yes. There is a power cut just as Frank is about to deliver the opening pitch of a baseball game at Camden Yards, the home ground of which team? Baltimore Orioles. Yes. What is the name of the internet search engine owned by Ben Grant that Will Conway uses to get demographic information to help his campaign? Polyhop. Yep. What is the name of the writer Claire talks to while she gives blood? She tells him that she reassesses her marriage every seven years. Tom Yates. Yep. What film does Frank Underwood's chief of staff, Doug Stamper, watch on television with his brother rather than the Democratic candidate's debate? Double indemnity. Contagion. During which speech does Frank deliberately sabotage Claire's proposed attempt to run for Congress in Texas by publicly endorsing someone else? The State of the Union. Yep. At which Washington metro station is the journalist Zoe Barnes killed by a moving train? Cathedral Heights. Yes. What is the name of the university where Frank is addressing students when Lucas Goodwin shoots him? Maryland. Hammond. What item does Claire give Frank a replica of just before he enters the Oval Office for the first time as president? His class ring. Yes. To which German city does Claire travel to attend a G7 summit while her husband has liver transplant surgery? Frankfurt. Brandenburg is the one. You have no passes. You have scored 11 points. So, that's the end of a very close first round. Let's have a look at all the scores. In joint third place, 11 points apiece, Ekenna and Julian. Second place, 12 points, Cathy. First place, 13 points, Ian. And it is, of course, the general knowledge round now. And if there's a tie at the end of it, then the number of passes is taken into account and the person with the fewer passes is the winner. And if they're tied on passes as well, there has to be a tie break. So let us get on with it and ask Ikenna to join us again, please. And uh, you start this round, as we've just heard, with 11 points. Two and a half minutes for the general knowledge questions coming up right. now. A statue of which Hans Christian Andersen character is a popular attraction in Copenhagen Harbour? The Little Mermaid. Yeah. What common collective name is given to the two sets of bones, the maxillae and the mandible, that form the framework of the mouth? The jaw. The jaw bones. Yeah. In The Simpsons, what is the name of the bar where Homer enjoys a duff beer? Moose Tavern. Yep. In which Grand Slam tennis championship do women compete for the silver trophy known as the Venus Rosewater dish? That's Wimbledon. Yep. Which hospital in Cambridge is named after a physician who left a legacy to build one in the town for poor people? Pass. What is the title of the song by Two Unlimited that finally ended Whitney Houston's ten weeks at number one with I Will Always Love You? No Limit. Yep. Which writer's autobiographical memoir of boyhood in a secluded Cotswold Valley? is called Cider with Rosie. Laurie Lee. Yep. What name of Germanic origin is given to the underworld abode of the wicked after death? Hades. Hell. Hell. Bette Midler's Grammy Award-winning song, Wind Beneath My Wings, features in which 1989 film? Mermaids. Beaches. What is the name of the Spanish-born tenor who made his Covent Garden debut as a baritone at the age of 69 in the lead role in Verdi's opera Simon Bocanegra in 2010? Pass. What traditional Japanese theatrical form has a name that means talent or skill? Pass. In which building was the Stone of Destiny ceremonial installed on St Andrew's Day 1996 on its permanent return to Scotland after 700 years? Schoon Palace. Edinburgh Castle. In education, what does the abbreviation PTA stand for? 
Parent Teacher Association. Yep. Which seabird, a member of the Orc family, has a name that apparently comes from the French form of the name William? Pass. To which archipelago in the Mediterranean do the smaller islands Cabrera and Dragonera belong? Balearics. Yes. The butterhead tom thumb is a small, fast-growing variety of what salad vegetable? Lettuce. Yep. The first Battle of Bull Run of July 1861, also known as the First Battle of Manassas, was the first major encounter of which conflict? The... Pass. Who was asked many times in a Newsnight interview in May 1997 whether he had threatened to overrule the prison's chief, Derek Lewis? He evaded the question each time. Michael Howard. Yeah. What name is given to the mark worn on the forehead by Hindus to indicate caste, status, sectarian affiliation, or simply as an ornament? Bindi. Yeah, or Tika, or Tilaka, or Potu. You have uh, five passes altogether. It was the American Civil War in which they fought the first Battle of Bull Run. Guillemot is that seabird that uh, comes apparently from the French form of the name William. That traditional Japanese theatrical form is no theatre, N-O-H. The name of the Spanish-born tenor, Placido Domingo. And the hospital in Cambridge, named after the chap who left the legacy to build one, Adam Brooks. You have scored a total of 22 points. Thank you. And now, Julian, again, please. And you also start out with 11 points, Julian, and the score to beat, as we've just heard, is 22. So, here we go. In which winter sport might competitors perform jumps called Lutz, Loop, Axel and Salco? Figure skating. Yep. In which stretch of woodland and heath in the south of England, now a national park, did William the Conqueror create a royal hunting ground in 1079? South Downs. New Forest. The 1980s television series The Colbys was a spin-off from which soap opera? Dynasty. Yes. The juice of what fruit is fermented to make perry, a drink similar to cider? Pear. Yep. What word that means farmer or countryman is used for the people of Dutch descent who settled in South Africa? Boar. Yep. Who became the first American woman to be nominated for a Best Director Oscar for Lost in Translation in 2004? Uh, Sophia Coppola. Yes. Which Norse god is also known as Wotan? Uh, Odin. Yes. What role was filled in the First World War and Second World War by Paul Nash? Uh, chief architect. No, he was the official war artist. Who's been officially credited by Oxford University Press as the co-author with William Shakespeare of the three Henry VI plays? Uh, Marlowe. Yep. What class of natural or synthetic substances composed of large molecules are made up of smaller units called monomers? Polymers. Yes. In the Royal Navy, the term silent service is used to describe which type of vessels? Submarines. Yes. Against whom did Anthony Mayer stand in a UK political party leadership election in 1989? He won 33 votes out of 374. SDP. Margaret Thatcher. The ancient city that the Greeks called Ilium, after its legendary founder Ilos, is better known by what name? Troy. Yes. In which country is Lake Van the largest lake? It's famous for its swimming cats that have amber or blue eyes. Armenia. Turkey. Which classic science fiction novel takes its title from the temperature at which its author, Ray Bradbury, believed book paper catches fire? Fahrenheit 451. Yes. Allium keeper is the scientific name for a vegetable whose English name is thought to come ultimately from the Latin for one. Which vegetable? Pepper. Onion. What is the title of Madonna's UK number one album of 2000, the title track of which also gave her a number one single? Ray of Light. Music. In football, which manager succeeded Bill Shankly in 1974 and won six Division I titles and three European Cups with Liverpool between 1976 and 83? Kenny Dalglish. Bob Paisley. Which member of the royal family was born at Park House Sandringham on the 1st of July, 1961? Prince Edward. No, it was Diana, Princess of Wales. You have no passes, Julian, but you also have 22 points. <laughs> and now Cathy again, please. And you start out with 12 points, Cathy. 22, still the score to beat. Two and a half minutes of general knowledge, starting now. 
Who has been the lead singer of the Rolling Stones since the group was formed in the early 60s? Mick Jagger. Yep. Mashed Swede, often referred to as Bashed Neeps, is traditionally served as an accompaniment to what Scottish dish? Haggis. Yep. Which English king acquired the epithet unready, not because he was unprepared, but because he was ill-advised? Ethelred. Yes. In which sports 2017 World Cup did Dave Riding become the first Briton to win a medal since Conrad Bartelski in 1981? Ryder Cup. Skiing. Which notorious Chicago gangster has been played in films by Rod Steiger, Ben Gazzara and Robert De Niro? Al Capone. Yep. What was the name of the American free market economist who, in the title of a book he published in 1975, popularised the phrase, there's no such thing as a free lunch? Uh, Milton Friedman. Yes. What London street is traditionally associated with doctors and private medical practices? Harley Street. Yep. Which disease, also called African trypanosomiosis, is transmitted to humans by the bite of an infected tsetse fly? Bill Hart's here. Sleeping sickness. What pre-decimal monetary unit was worth one pound, one shilling? Florin. The guinea. Who topped the UK singles charts in 1986 with chain reaction? Pass. What is the name of the historic Scottish county that lies between the Firth of Forth and the Firth of Tay? It's traditionally prefaced by the title The Kingdom of... Um. Pass. What title did Pope Leo X bestow on Henry VIII in 1521 as a reward for his pamphlet Declaration of the Seven Sacraments against Martin Luther? Defender of the Faith. Yes. What celebration forms the title of Harold Pinter's first full-length play, which was made into a film that starred Robert Shaw, Patrick McGee and Dandy Nichols? Pass. Which of Aaron Copland's fanfares did he later incorporate into his third symphony? Spring. Fanfare for the common man. The appearance of which Thunderbird's puppet was modelled on Sylvia Anderson, the wife of the creator of the series? She also provided the character's voice. Lady Penelope? Yes. What is the name of the sweet, sticky substance secreted by aphids and similar insects that is particularly attractive to ants? A pass. Vancouver Island lies off the coast of which Canadian province? Um... British Columbia. Yes. William Timmins' statue of a gorilla, one of London Zoo's most famous residents, was unveiled in 1982. What was the gorilla called? Um, Guy. Yes. Shelley's poem that begins, Hail to thee, blithe spirit bird, thou never wert, is an ode to what bird? Um, Nightingale. Skylark. Owen Smith, who was beaten by Jeremy Corbyn in the 2016 Labour Leadership Contest, entered Parliament for which constituency in 2010? Lambeth. Pontypridd. <laughs> you had four passes, Cathy. Honeydew is the name of that sweet, sticky substance that um, ants particularly love. The birthday party was Harold Pinter's play. Bet you knew that. Yeah. And Fife is the name of that historic Scottish county. Yeah. It's the Kingdom of Fife. And Diana Ross, chain reaction. You have a total of 22 points. And finally, Ian, again, please. And uh, you start out, Ian, with 13 points, and the score to beat is still 22 points. So let's see if you can break the logjam. <laughs> Here we go, two and a half minutes. What distress signal is represented in international Morse code by three dots, three dashes, and three dots? SOS. Yep. Who wrote the 1889 novel A Connecticut Yankee in King Arthur's Court, which has been adapted for both the stage and the cinema? Mark Twain. Yep. According to the proverb, imitation is the sincerest form of what? Flattery. Yep. What name is usually given to the sixth Sunday of Lent? It reflects the welcome Jesus received when he entered Jerusalem at the beginning of the first Holy Week. Palm Sunday. Yes. A Yorkshire light is a type of what architectural feature? A window? Yes. On which sea do the Italian ports of Ancona, Bari and Brindisi lie? It is an arm of the Mediterranean. Adriatic. Yes. For which 1986 film did Paul Newman finally win an Oscar for Best Actor? It was a sequel to his earlier film, The Hustler. I pass. In Russian cuisine, solyanka and rasolnik are what type of dish? Soup. Yes. In diving, who followed up his bronze medal at the London Olympics in the individual 10-metre platform event with a bronze at Rio in the synchronised event with Dan Goodfellow? I pass. The building at Vauxhall Cross, whose nicknames include Ceausescu Towers and Legoland because of its appearance, is the headquarters of which government body? Uh, MI5. MI6. Yeah. Which animal has the scientific name Aruropoda melanola luca that translates as black and white cat foot? Sloth. Panda. What is the name of the pathologist created by the American crime novelist Patricia Cornwall who first appeared in the 1990 novel Post Mortem? Uh, pass. 
What was the middle name of the English polar explorer, Captain Robert Scott? Francis. Falcon. The gemstones ruby and sapphire are varieties of a naturally occurring aluminium oxide mineral. Which mineral? Carbonatum. No, corundum. What is the nickname of Edwin Eugene Aldrin, the second man to set foot on the moon? Buzz. Yep. The Italian composer Paganini, who some thought to be in league with the devil, was a virtuoso on which instrument? Violin. Yes. In Australian slang, bluey is a term for someone with what physical feature? Glasses. Oh, ginger hair. What was the name of the secret agent played by Robert Vaughan in the television series The Man from Uncle? Um, I'll pass. What was the name of the trade union known as the TGWU that merged with Amicus to form Unite, the union, in 2007? Transport General Workers Union. Yes. Which musical instrument maker officially released the first mass-produced solid-body electric guitar in 1950? Initially called the Esquire and the Broadcaster, it was soon renamed the Telecaster. Stratos? No. The Fender. Oh. Yeah. You have uh, four passes in. Uh, the name of the secret agent, played by Robert Vaughan, was Napoleon Solo. Of course. Kay Scarpetta was the hero of uh, that American crime novelist, Patricia Cornwall. Tom Daly was the diver. Of course. And The Colour of Money was the film that uh, Paul Newman finally won his Oscar. Ian, those four passes, you have 23 points. <laughs> Well, how close was that? Let's have a look at all the scores. It won't take long. Joint second place, 22 points. Akenna, Cathy and Julian. And in first place, 23 points, Ian. That means that Ian is tonight's winner. And he goes through to the semi-finals. Congratulations to him. And if you would like to be a contender in the next series, do go to our website, bbc.co.uk, stroke mastermind, and you can follow us on Twitter, at Mastermind Quiz. And do join us again next time for more Masterminds. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.